What's going on guys, XSR Detroit here with another video for you. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Bell MX-9 dirt bike helmet. Just picked this up a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm gonna show you guys my process for getting a helmet moto vlog ready. Um, this doesn't just apply to dirt and dual sport helmets. This will pretty much work on any full face helmet. Uh, I've got a pile of parts over here, so let's grab them and uh, get to work. The first thing I'm going to put on my helmet is a GoPro mount. I picked this one up from Chin Mounts. This is made specifically for the Bell MX-9, and that's what I like about this company is all of these mounts are made for different helmets, so you know they're going to fit properly, they're going to look good. Uh, it's probably a lot safer than just putting a generic GoPro sticky mount on the side of your helmet. So let's open this up. So we have our mount. Lots of adhesive back here. Should be pretty strong. Way more than what's on my other helmet. And we have a tether. I probably won't use this. Then I assume, yeah, alcohol prep pad. So what I've done is I've taken my GoPro Moto Vlog case and attached it to the chin mount with the uh, adhesive still on. So I can just do a test fit on the helmet just to make sure everything lines up correctly. Feels pretty good, everything's lined up nicely. So we are ready to move on to the next step. Go ahead and grab your alcohol pad and we're just gonna wipe the surface of the helmet where the mount is going. Just wait for that to dry. For the next step, we're gonna grab the mount and a hairdryer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this off and apply warm heat to the adhesive for about a minute. Now that I've got my adhesive warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the helmet. And I'm gonna try and do it by the bottom so I can line it up easily. All right, the adhesive that they used is definitely no joke. As you can see, we got our chin mount onto the helmet. We're gonna let this sit for 24 hours so the adhesive can bond to the helmet. While the mount is adhering to the helmet, let's take a look at the microphones that I use. So this is an omnidirectional lapel mic from Purple Panda. This is the same mic I have in my RF 1200. So let's see what we got here. So we have our microphone. Uh, we've got some cable extension, we'll be using those. This adapter we do need to hang on to. And then we have a dead cat, which is definitely gonna come in handy as well. These are nice uh, for reducing wind noise. A couple things we need to do to get the microphone ready before we put it in the helmet. We're gonna slide this mic cover off remove the lapel bit and I'm gonna cut these stickers off very carefully and we're ready to put that into the helmet off camera I removed all the foam from the helmet on the left and right side, you're gonna see three points of contact. On the bottom, we've got two. And then up top on the front, you've got one here and one here. Now, one thing with removing foam in this helmet is up top, it's just held on by cloth. Um, so be very, very careful not to pull on it. Uh, what I would do is work your fingers in and just keep applying pressure until it pops off, but don't tug on the foam. Before I install this microphone into the helmet, I'm going to show you guys a couple things that you're going to need. The first thing, and probably the most important thing, is this adapter that comes with the Purple Panda kit. If you plug this microphone into the GoPro uh, USB-C adapter or the Media Mod, it's not going to work. What you have to do is plug this into there, and then your audio will work fine. Another thing, I'm going to put my dead cat on these are great i really wish i started using these a long time ago they're great for wind reduction now with a helmet like the mx9 that's really well ventilated and not really made for like street or highway use 
wind is gonna be a factor but since I'm gonna be riding this on trails you know not going too fast I'm not really worried that much about the wind but if I were to record on the street with that helmet it's definitely gonna be louder than my RF 1200 because it's just it's just so well ventilated compared to my street helmet whether you're using a GoPro or a different action camera, one thing you need to think about is where is your microphone input on the camera. In my case, it's on the left side, so I'm going to put the input for the microphone on the left side of the helmet, and I'll put the microphone on the right side of the helmet. One thing I like about this setup is if I don't have my GoPro on the helmet, I can just disconnect this adapter and tuck this into the cheek of my helmet so it's not dangling or in the way. When it comes to these microphones, there's really no wrong way to install them, but what I like to do is start with the microphone and the end, and that way we can tape up all the slack. Uh, where I like to put my microphone is right outside of the cheek foam, that way it's not directly in front of my face or any vents, so the audio will be clear. So, I've already got my microphone taped up. That'll be held in with the foam. I've got my audio input taped up, and what I wanted to do was pop the adapter on and make sure that I had enough where I had a little bit of slack so it's not super tight going to the GoPro, and it's looking pretty good, so I'm gonna continue taping the rest of the wiring in the helmet. Before I reinstall the foam, I wanted to show you guys the tape job. I like to keep the slack pretty loose, that way when I'm taking the helmet off and on, it's not pulling on anything too tight, and the foam is going to be covering all this wiring anyway. Right now we got the input loose and the mic is loose, but when I reinstall the foam, I'll be able to get those situated. Got my foam back into the helmet. I tried the helmet on, everything feels great. Got my microphone tucked into the cheek pad. It's angled up a little bit since there's a vent here. We got our input also tucked into the cheek pad. So at this point, we're ready to talk about action cameras. Regardless of what action camera you go with, you're gonna need a mount. So what I have is a standard GoPro J-hook and a small joint. I upgraded to aluminum thumb screws because I found that the GoPro thumb screws were cracking on me a lot. And to be honest, when it comes to this material that GoPro uses, this stuff breaks for sure over time. Like you need to keep an eye on it. I've seen a couple companies offer like metal versions specifically for moto vlogging, and I think I'm gonna upgrade to that in the future, but this is what I have now. But yeah, definitely keep an eye on these, especially like right in here on the plastic. These things crack and break. These days, there's a, a decent amount of options as far as action cameras go. I've always been a GoPro owner, so I can only speak from a GoPro owner's perspective. What I have is a GoPro Hero 9 Black, and this case is from Artman, and I have a GoPro USB-C to 3.5 adapter so I can plug my microphone in. Now, there is another option. You can get the GoPro Media Mod which has a smaller profile than this setup, and it has an onboard mic. And for what I paid for this, I think I paid 20 for the case and then 50 for the adapter. The media mod is $80, so for $10 more, you do get uh, a better onboard mic and a smaller profile. But at this point, I'm not gonna spend 80 bucks just to slim things up. This setup I've had for like three years, and it's worked great. All right, let's get this GoPro in the case and get it on the helmet and test it out. One thing I wish I'd started using earlier with uh, moto vlogging is ND filters. These are awesome if you're filming in direct sunlight or with a little overcast. They come in three different shades. It depends on how sunny the day is, but Moto Fields did an excellent video on how to use these filters and what settings to use for your GoPro. So I'm gonna link that in the description. You should definitely check that out. I'm not gonna talk too much about GoPro settings. I will say, if you take the GoPro out of the box and shoot at 10, 80, 60 frames, the footage is gonna look fine. But there are plenty of videos on YouTube you guys should look up and see how other people's footage looks like and what settings and tools they're using to get that footage because 
it can look a lot better. I changed my GoPro settings a lot in the last year and now my footage looks awesome. I've definitely ruined footage by using the wrong settings before, so it's something to keep in mind if you're brand new to the GoPro thing. All right, guys, so I've got my microphone hooked up. Everything should be working just fine. This is what it's going to sound like uh, basically when you're not on the bike. As far as the microphone goes, uh, I use this microphone in my other helmet. It's a Shoei RF1200, and it's always sounded pretty good. So I was thinking, since I'm going to do a microphone test anyway, I might as well put the bike on the street at street speeds so you guys can hear it. Now, like I said earlier, this this is a more of a dirt bike, you know, trail helmet, very well ventilated. It's about 50 degrees today, and uh, I am catching all that wind in the face, so I'm curious to see how this sounds at like 45 miles an hour. We're going 45 miles an hour. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's a little loud in the helmet, but uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see how it sounds when I'm watching this footage later. That's it for the video, guys. My dirt helmet is officially Moto Vlog ready. I listened to the audio on the street riding video around 45 miles an hour and it sounded a lot better than I thought it would. So I think on the trails when I'm going a lot slower, it's going to be a lot quieter. It's going to sound really, really well. And with the GoPro Hero 9, it's going to look really good too. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, sound off in the comments section. If you liked my video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, ride fast, ride naked, wear your helmet, and I'll see you in the next one. So I can record my trail rides and <laughs> Hi. What up, love? I'm trying to do something right now. You're getting scooped. <laughs> You're getting scooped. What do you have to say to your fans? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are we both, are both the cats making an appearance in this episode? Why not? <laughs> What's up, man? Check it out. Yep. <laughs> this is what we're doing today, huh? <laughs> Ugh, look at the size of this cat. Holy shit.